So, I finished the Rhapsody in Blue <laughs> stitching, and I was about to show you uh, the learn. other piece I'm starting. <laughs> this is by Patrick Woods, Sherry Jones, and again, another wonderful designer who goes and teaches classes down at Salty Yarns, but I can't get there for the class times. See, I just won't go without my sidekick. <laughs> so, if we're not going to get there in the it's summer, a package I just, deal. Yeah, yeah, so I don't. Um, but in the meantime, um, I decided to get a head start because I got so close to finishing the other one. That's what it's going to look like. And I started the border. Started the border on um, the scissor pouch or scissor wallop. She you are energetic. It. This is everyone also. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then that's this piece. It was the largest piece. I thought I'd start with that and make it easy. And then these are little patches. Right here are patches. And this is a patch that you stitch um, and it gets applicated to the bag as part of your finishing class and learning. And then this is a either a scissor fob or a floss tag. I forget which one is which. Um, and then this one is the applique, applique. It's a floss tag. Okay. All right. So that's floss tag. Now the scissor fob is actually a charm okay. that she gave us. It's a fleur de lis and you attach it and um, cool. it goes with the whole France Very theme. Pretty. So Mr. Butters, that's the name of the Mr. Butters bag Aww, satchel. Cool. Remember how we talked in the first video about um, an away knot? That's a, and that's exactly what Liz did here because she is stitching this over one. So there's her away knot right there. And then she started her stitching. That's pretty fabric. Very pretty. Do you know what that is? is? No, I do not. And I was trying to find the, the color. count too. I went through all the instructions and I couldn't find the count. That's I had to really, count it. That's really, really so, pretty. Um, Maybe if I sat down and read them front to back, I might find it, but I was jumping around. And then the whole, that away the whole thread palette oh, wow. is just four colors. Are they DMC or? Um, I don't think so. They're it's a silk. Okay. Oh, it's, it's a, a silk. silk. Yeah. Okay. And it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. So fun. Very, fun. very pretty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I'll do the work. It's okay. <laughs> but you get to be next to me. <laughs> Um, let's see, what else did I have to talk about? That was what I was working on. You showed what you were working mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Finishes? Oh, or... we asked you a question last video. Oh, yeah. We asked you if you stitch alone or stitch with someone, and we asked you to indicate that using the tally with the thumbs up button. Mm -hmm. So I thought you'd be interested to know that our viewers, predominantly people watching our Floss Tube channel anyway, are stitching by themselves. Only 10%. Mm -hmm. I did marketing statistics, so I kind of worked backwards with the numbers. <laughs> um, <Just kidding. laughs> that's true. Who said that? There's nothing <laughs> false about that statement. Um, it's a compliment. It, yes. Especially if you know what you're talking about. <laughs> if I yeah. didn't know what I was talking about, I'd be a stupid geek. <laughs> <laughs> and stupid they're worthless. Is a stupid they are worthless. <laughs> um, so 10% uh, of you stitch with someone else or go to a guild and the rest of you use floss tube and other ways to entertain yourselves yeah. and learn more about it. Yeah. So that's really cool. Cause we get to learn about you this way. Yes. Yeah. And one of the things we thought is we'd like to tailor our channel and some of the things we do mm -hmm. given that knowledge now, and we need you to answer another question for us. That question is, this is one of the ones that we had to break Deb of early on. Do you <laughs> I'm stitch... still not broken. <laughs> no. In season, or do you just stitch whatever you choose to stitch, regardless of the season? Mm -hmm. um, if you could use the thumbs up, if you stitch in season, mm -hmm. that's the question. Mm -hmm. And we aren't asking for anything to the contrary. Yeah. So just yeah. if you're an in-season stitcher, hit that thumbs up. Push thumbs up for mm -hmm. us. We would appreciate yeah. that. So I am. <laughs> um, I mean, I I try to step out of the box here and there, but. Still hard, but it's, you're getting there. Yeah, Leah, baby you steps. Are. Baby steps. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a good movie. I loved what about mom? <laughs> baby steps. Baby steps. Um, finishes. Oh, wait, jumping back a little bit. Oh, I forgot to show you what I got um, in the mail this week. I get it every year. Is this uh, new? Yep, this <gasps> is my new one. 
you haven't seen it yet, I just I borrowed it's it who's, today. It's my new one? Oh, thanks. <laughs> she said it. You heard it here. She has a very good collection of them. Um, we had yes, we had a, a, a viewer send us, send us oh a box gosh, of yes. uh, books that she had collected. But um, it's called That's A adorable. Cross-Stitch Christmas. It's I got love these books. a very strong English flavor to it. Colors, yeah. designs in this particular issue. Um, and uh, I get it every year, and then I get it early, and I get to look through it. Yeah. So it's got a color theme, and um, I love these. Books. I give you just a sample of what's inside. I'm not going to sit here and go through it, but you can see for yourself the types of things. This is probably going to be out uh, in the Hershner's catalog real soon. It's wow. produced by um, Craftways, and they're in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, right near Hershner's, and Hershner's carries this. And they also carry the keepsake calendar that comes out annually. I returned my keepsake calendar this year. I, I didn't have an interest in what was in it. <laughs> We've lost her now. So, moving right along. Um, oh, they sent me a freebie. Look at the <gasps> ugly sweaters. That's cute. I know. Oh. I told you we lost her. Anyway, this was the little freebie that was in it. So that'll be fun. A little ugly sweater contest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are great. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. <laughs> okay, I'm on page. Okay. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> Have to shorten your leash. Yeah, okay. Um, so we were going to show you some finishes. Mm. You did you say you had some? Mm -hmm. Okay, I do. Well, uh, stitching finishes. I didn't um, completely and totally get them all finished up, but the stitching is finished. So on the for oh that one's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's another one. Over oh, there. whoops, That's that one's yours. Thing. Thank you. <laughs> um, the Knee High by 4th of July, which is a Kathy Haberman um, pattern. I did finish the stitching. It's about time. <laughs> please, and please ignore my fingernails. It's from picking in the garden and all that, so they're absolutely ugly right now. But um, this is this is my finish. I did decide to do the sun up there. Oh, I didn't show you that. It's stitched a little differently than what the pattern calls for, uh, but I did put it up there. And again, hopefully maybe you can see in the grass the elongated cross stitch. Do you see that it makes kind of a really cool pattern? I hope that comes through. Um, the corn cobs, again, are uh, wrapped once with a French knot. And then there are straight stitches at the top of each corn cob and at the top of each um, corn stalk to give it that silk, you know, the silk that's on top of the corn. I did not stitch the quilt on this piece because I'm stitching it on a separate piece and I'm going to add it to this piece. I also went ahead and put a little bit of grass at the corners of um, the, the uh, fence posts down there. I just thought it was cute. And those are just um, long straight stitches. Um, I used both of the greens that are in here, the light and the dark green. I just tweeted those together and then just, like I said, did some long stitches. The flag I stitched on um, a tiny bit smaller count fabric and uh, I used um, diagonal straight stitches for the red and white stripes and then regular cross stitches for the um, blue area. And then I'm going to finish this off and add it to the other piece and hopefully it'll have the look that the quilt is actually hanging over the fence um, post. I bet or the it does. Fence railing, whatever you want to call it. So that's, that's I like that. the three-dimensional pieces. Yeah, I, I hope it comes. I think it will. Perfect. By the way, so. yes, your satin stitch on your flag, Yes. that really gives it the illusion that it's waving. I like it the way ah, you did it. Oh, cool idea. It does, don't you think? Yeah, that's cool, yeah. Show them. Yeah. I, I did show them. <laughs> but you didn't show them from that perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that look like it's waving? There you go. Turn it just like that because okay. of how your your rows come together. It actually does, from an angle, give it that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sort of. Yeah, hopefully that'll turn grand old flag sort of. Look. Yes. All right, and then I did finish my oh, my uh, Jenny Bean um, the Friends Friends sampler. <laughs> I almost said friendship, but I think it's just friends. Uh, Thirty-six count maritime white it says lakeside sampler. Okay. It really is friendship. <clears throat> 36 count maritime white lace. <laughs> yeah, where's that paddle when I need it? This is the pattern. Uh, I did, 
I did use the called for threads. Um, I, with the exception of just one color. Yes, with the exception of one color. <laughs> if you haven't yeah. seen the first part of this, you'll see that we might have, might have mentioned that. Um, yes, I did not have this color. I forget what, oh, what was it called? The summer. Hmm. I forget. Age Pewter, maybe? I don't know. I forget. Anyway, um, I did change the stitching. I did the elongated cross stitch on um, most of the roofs. Uh, here I did them differently. Some of them are right over top each other and some of them are staggered. Uh, I changed the, okay, this color here was supposed to be more of a tomato color, this color, and I didn't care for that. I wanted it to look more like a brick color, so I did change that. I also, in my windows, I changed up some of the windows a little bit, like I put in the, um, the window panes um, here and I put in window panes down in this house. Um, I think this one's the same. I always, usually when I stitch a um, alphabet, I change my D and my E into a different color. That's just something I like to do. I did three rows of straight stitches, satin stitches, um, down here on the bottom uh, because I made a mistake. <laughs> so I had to fix my mistake. So instead of two rows, I changed it to three. Um, Happy put my, accident. Exactly. Put my initials over here. And I did stitch in the date, the year, right there. So I think those are most all of the changes that I made. And I did not fill in behind the words in the middle, behind the saying with the stitches. That is supposed to be filled in, but I think it looks great just like this. So I will be framing that and hopefully get to show it to you next video. Oh, and the only other thing I did was... Um, some Smyrna crosses inside of my flowers, and then my, my willow tree here. I did not do cross stitches, I just did long and short stitches for that tree. That's it. She's done. Thank you. Oh, hey, you find this. <laughs> Liz found the pattern. <laughs> Here's that pattern that I was working on. Um, yes, yeah, so this is what the sunshine uh, was supposed to look like and I did do mine. Did I show you? I forgot to show you. No, yeah. you didn't turn it around. There you go. I'm feeling slighted. There's, there's my Oh sign. yeah, nice. Very Thanks. quilty looking. Yeah. I like. Thank you. Alrighty. And there's you a... got to see it first. <laughs> yes. yes, you saw it before Liz. Yes. Alright, I have a couple finishes. Actually, one. Okay. <laughs> Scratch it. I have a finish. Um, I I showed you the Mardi Gras kit that was given to me by Firm Ridge Collections. Um, and Brenda, hi Brenda, um, is a viewer and a friend that uh, I've been in contact with. And I had sent her something that she was interested in. Um, she bought my floor stand. And I couldn't send that out to Louisiana without <laughs> adding something that went to Louisiana. So. I did the Mardi Gras peyote fob. And Aww. she was kind enough to send this picture to me because I forgot to photograph it. <laughs> so anyway, it turned out really nice. I liked it. Whoops. Yeah, I was going to try to make that a little bit more of the picture. Okay. There we go. Um, I did change this one up a little bit. I didn't have the exact same beads that they had on the bottom. Um, so I made them black instead of blue, and I kind of like that mm -hmm. um, contrast with yeah, the top a lot. Pretty. So anyway, that was fun. And I think Very that good. was the only actual finish I had last week because I was working on those well, We got two a lot bags. of stitching done. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. kind of why. So. Yeah, awesome. Um, All right. Then on. we had our adoption last mm -hmm. week yep. uh, for people to take a gander mm -hmm. at. And we had two of them. This was the pattern pack for Good Morning. Mm -hmm. And you get that awesome... Um, and that's going to rooster Cynthia in there. M. Cynthia M, yes. Yes, your rooster is still in there. Deb did not take it. <laughs> <laughs> I verified that myself. I love that thing. And the next adoption winner is Jan Mower, I think is how you say your name. M-O-H-E-R. You're going to be getting the um, Mary Inglebright package. So, adoption complete. <laughs> Send yes. us your addresses and 
we'll get those out to you. And stay tuned because mm -hmm. we will do more of that. Yes. And mm -hmm. yes. And we also have um, a a little game. We're going to ask this time our floss tube game. We have another question, and it's actually about our floss tubes. Yes. Uh, so the question this it's time a cross -stitch is cross stitch country stitchers quiz. Yeah, country stitchers quiz. So. How well do you know us? <laughs> we would like to know what video Deb talked about her gas explosion. Mm -hmm. It was referenced in different videos and different sets of comments, but we want to know which video precisely did she yeah. tell the story. Yeah. And so we need the number of that video. That's it. And then you, you will, the winner uh, will be receiving this complete kit from the sweetheart tree it's fancy heart i'll show you the design it's very pretty it's colors. gorgeous very very pretty and so you get the needles the beads and the thread and it's a satin thread pack and the linen and the yeah. directions so that's a really really cool gift um yes because you might have to do some digging as to figure out what number video that might be <laughs> So uh, some of you might know. I don't know, but um, anyway. I've stitched some of these, and they're fun to stitch. Yes, yes. So everybody that comes up with the correct answer will be entered in to win this gift, yes. and we'll let you know next time. And we ask right. that you subscribe. Yes, please. Thank you. That would make it nice. Um, yes. Yes. Now we would like to talk about a guild. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have our spotlight today pictures I do <laughs> there you go. we're going to be visiting Molly Pitcher stitchers EGA mm -hmm. and Judy Herrick is the president the guilds about 39 years old mm -hmm. um, the meeting date is the second Thursday of the month but they do take a break during the summers um, that's really cool. That is very cool. Yes. And it's from 7 to 9 p.m. And they do something with their summers, too. It's not just see you next year. <laughs> um, <laughs> their typical meeting format is very much like uh, the ones we've spotlighted before. Mm -hmm. They have uh, a business meeting because we all have to talk about what to do with the dues. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to do with our programs. And then they have show and tell for all the hard work that everybody's done. And mm -hmm. then they have um, their program. Mm -hmm. whatever that might be for the time yes um, the focus of their guild is embroidery education and what sets them apart from other guilds they're very active they're very education oriented uh, they participate in the comfort conservation of needlework at the Cumberland County Historical Society now this might sound complicated but it's because it's EGA there's three levels to the membership you have your uh, chapter membership and then you have your national membership so it's fifty dollars for both of those memberships and then there's a regional membership and the regions are divided up I know in uh, Illinois our region included a about a three or four state area and it was called the Heartland region um, this uh, annual dues also includes two dollars for the regional dues mm -hmm. so I guess from what I see, it's uh, fifty-two dollars total for yeah. the year. Yeah, yeah. So they have annual activities. They include a holiday dinner with ornament exchange, uh, picnic, um, ongoing projects, summer school for catch-up on monthly programs, which I think is really cool. Um, monthly stitch-ins and retreat. That was what I said. They don't just say goodbye, see you later. Yeah. They got a summer school, yeah. which I think is fun. Yeah. That would be the only summer school you'd want to go to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> summer school when I was little was a taboo. You didn't want oh, to get no. put in summer school. No. Uh -huh. That meant you did not do what you were no, supposed to do. That's right. I do think we forgot to maybe say the location. This guild is held um, Stewart Community Center, 415 Franklin Street in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Yes. And this, obviously is a Pennsylvania Guild. Mm -hmm. um, Joe Day, and I will put her um, links like I do with the other spotlights mm -hmm. in the drop-down box, um, is the contact person uh, for the Guild. And she is just very thorough. She will get you anything or everything you need when you mm -hmm. contact her. Uh, they have two 
uh, social media locations. One is on the internet, and that's Molly Pitchers. My, I know. Molly Pitcher Stitchers, ega.org, and then uh, they have a Facebook location, the same name, Molly Pitchers Stitchers, and I'll put that information mm -hmm. for social media in there as well. Um, so if you are anywhere in the area and you can check them out, please do. Yes, and I wanted to show you a little bit of their newsletter. It's done really well. Mm -hmm. They have... A colored newsletter they send out. And. Want me to help you? Yeah, as soon as I figure out why it's not. <laughs> okay. I think it's because of how I did the post. It's okay. just the one page that okay. I posted up there. So, anyway, um, Molly Pitcher, EGA from Carlisle. Yes. And awesome. Joe Day is the contact person. Yes, thank you. And please use the information that we put in the drop down. Yes. Um, I would like to just take a moment when we're talking about the spotlight. Um, thank you so much for letting us know when you found a guild and mm -hmm. didn't know it existed. And um, we've gotten feedback that mm -hmm. several new members have been added, and that includes our own guild. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. that's very exciting. It is. Makes, um, it makes the universe a little smaller when you yeah. meet up with another group of people yes yeah we are at gadget corner mm -hmm. and gadget corner is presented today <laughs> by a friend of ours named leela uh <laughs> she sent us a gadget this gadget is called a plastic quilting sewing thread cutter ring it's a gadget <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> it goes um it's also a they call it a line finger cutting tool for yarn and thread. Um, it's made out of plastic. Has a little blade in it like you see on the cutter rings by DMC. Yeah. It comes in multiple colors. It does. And Sunshine yellow. Deb and I are thinking, uh, trying to figure out exactly f based on how mm -hmm. we stitch, which mm -hmm. finger would be the best one to wear it on and mm -hmm. whether to wear it in the back or the front. I guess it, it really depends on how you, yeah. you want to yeah, cut we'll your thread. Play around with it and see which way is better. Um, but yeah, awesome. That's so cool. Leela. Thank you, What a Leela. neat find. Yeah, that's awesome. It and does look like it would be nice to use. It uh -huh. really does. And I can almost guarantee you they won't take it away on a plane. Oh. Wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, that's what I thought about. What a great travel tool. Oh, that's a good Don't idea. Don't have to worry about it. That's a great idea. Yep. I didn't think of that. Yep. So, thank huh. you. Um, oh, and she also noted that yeah, she got perfect. hers on thank Amazon. You. This was discovered on, you want to guess? Uh, I don't know. What was it? Shark Tank. No way. Yeah. Oh, I love Pretty that neat, show. Huh? That is so cool. Thanks, hey. Leela. <laughs> plug in Shark Tank. This is really sweet. It's my new jewelry. <laughs> cool. You, thank you. And thank you very much for your so patience you that, as yes. uh, YouTube is working out their new platform. Mm -hmm. I found a lot of things on YouTube talking about different glitches as mm -hmm. they're working through it. Mm -hmm. One of them happens to be we keep getting bumped out in our recording, and yeah. I found out we're not the only ones. Yes, and but thank you so much. Some of the comments are like, we don't care how many times we see you, or that's so sweet. How many thank times you. do we have to click? How many times we have to? Yep. Yeah. Oh, so gosh, thank, thank you, you very that's nice. much. <laughs> <laughs> and um, as always, share, share the joy, joy needlework. Bye bye. See ya. <laughs>